In the eastern suburbs of Pretoria, the venue for event number eight on the Big Easy IGT Challenge Tour. Wingate Park Country Club has been welcoming players since the course opened in 1951 and has staged the South African Masters in the past. The Parklands course would prove testing with only nine players registering an under par total after three days. No surprise that Matt Bright would be one of them. Twice a champion across the series, he would finish seventh this week, further boosting his push for Sunshine Tour playing rights. The wins made their presence felt, and while Luke Brown slipped a little on the last day, the former winner on the IGT Tour as an amateur still recorded a tied fourth finish. The 19-year-old from Santon enjoying a good run of form. You could say the same about Hendrika Stuerp. Second place in the previous Big Easy event at Rand Park and an impressive runner-up once again. Francois Coetzee is a Wingate Park native who certainly used his knowledge to good effect. He led into the final round but succumbed on the home stretch to end up tied second. Another mature young player would take the honours. Cameron Morley at nine under par, recording a first Big Easy success. I played nicely the first nine. I didn't really make too many mistakes. I kind of just hung in there. The wind was blowing quite hard today. Not like the other two days, but kind of just saw myself just hanging in there. I made a couple of bad swings on seven when I hit it behind a tree. I managed to up and down that. But Francois was keeping the pressure on all the time. Whenever he made a drop, he would always bounce back with a birdie and it kind of just motivated me to just keep on going. A three strokes victory for the former Freddie Tate Trophy winner who'd earned an IGT Tour win as an amateur last year. Though he wasn't aware just how in command he was as he negotiated this last hole. I didn't know until the very end, the last putt, I saw Francois hit it right off the tee box and I saw him go for the green and two and he hit the tree and I didn't see where it went and it went backwards. So I kind of laid up and I, after that I kind of thought, okay, I just need to make par. He engineered a 20-footer for birdie and finished with a flourish instead. Hard to believe he'd been sidelined for six weeks with a shoulder injury, and by his own admission, he'd been Mr. Grumpy for a couple of weeks prior to this breakthrough tournament. He moves to 11th place on the order of merit, with the top 10 awarded Sunshine Tour cards after the 16 event series. Next, we'll be racing to Kyle Army Country Club for event number nine.